giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now FTC is produced in partnership with PTC. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Let's jump right into our first discussion topic. Earlier today, first released an update regarding COVID-19. They announced that next year's FRC game will be a modified version of Infinite Recharge, but have not yet an not yet announced what will be happening for FTC next year. They said that they are considering what they're going to do with teams that qualified for Worlds this year and will be providing more updates in the future. What stuck out to you guys about this update? Anything in particular? Um, even though, like, first didn't uh, mention too much about FTC, I, I wanted to touch upon, like, the thing about teams qualifying for Worlds next year that qualified for Worlds this year. Personally, I don't really agree with the idea that if a team qualified for Worlds this year, that they should get automatic qualification next year, as I think, um, like, every year teams change, robot changes, and, like, the game's completely different, right? I think one thing is for, like, teams that, that – qualified through like inspire and awards like those maybe they should be allowed to um consider their outreach from the previous season into next season's notebook and their presentations and things like that but other than that i don't think anything else should be carried over but what are your guys' thoughts yeah i would say that it probably shouldn't be carried over i mean it would cut down on advancement slots as well and mm -hmm. that's already a big problem so yeah that's all right yeah that's already a pretty controversial topic in yeah, the community definitely agree I, I think I, I would I would agree with that um, just because I um, I think part part of the point of advancement in FTC is or really just any competition is about um, the work you have done on that specific um, w whatever competition you're advancing for you right you really wouldn't be advancing for. Uh, your achievements in that game. And I don't yeah. think that would really be fair or in the spirit of what um, first is. Yeah. So I a, was thinking a... about it, and one of the possible things that I thought they could do was they could potentially make it so then the lottery is solely based off of uh, teams that are advancing. So instead oh. of making mm -hmm. the lottery just random teams, mm -hmm. they pull the lottery spots to teams that have qualified for Worlds this year, but didn't qualify in mm -hmm. 2021. That way it opens it up to give teams the opportunity that maybe didn't get to go last year. Um, and hopefully it gives more teams the opportunity to celebrate their successes. What do you guys think about that? I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Probably one so, of the better way, ways of integrating um, teams that did well this year so that they can kind of have that success show. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so first, quote unquote words is they're still evaluating and will provide details as soon as they're available. So we should expect an update on how the advancement will work for 2021 uh, championship in the upcoming months. Um, one of the yeah. things that I also found interesting was how Infinite Recharge, which is the FRC game for 2020, will be played again in 2021. What do you think they're going to do for FTC in terms of the game? I mean, they could play Sky soon again, but what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's, like, a real reason to play Skystone. Like, I understand why they're playing an Infinite Recharged again. Like, this year, not many districts did get to compete uh, in their in their games. But, like, for Skystone, I mean, every single uh, region had their regionals, and a lot of states had their state competitions. So, like, yes, some states did get their state competitions canceled, but at least every team got to play at least a couple matches. So I, I would... I would say that that's not the only reason why they're canceling an FRC. Um, another reason is that right now it's really hard for teams to get uh, fundraising just oh, um, right. because of the mm -hmm. economic effects. And that also impacts Andy Mark, um, who are the ones making all of the fields, um, also one of the primary vendors. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really know enough to say whether that's a would be a concern for FTC as well in, in terms of um, I don't know how much everything costs there, but I know that that definitely is a concern there that could also be a concern here. 
So yeah. when I was thinking about it, uh, one of the things that I specifically looked at was a school teams, right? They're not going to mm -hmm. have the funds to build potentially a new robot or the time because who knows when we're going to be getting back into schools. We don't know what's when this is going to end and getting sponsors and stuff like that is going to be especially difficult for these school teams. So maybe it is viable to play Skystone again, a modified version, just like they're doing for FRC, but it mm -hmm. could be possible. But then again, I look at FLL and what they've done with FLL. Um, FTC sits right in between FLL and FRC and FLL, they've already announced they're doing a new game. But with Legos, you can kind of reuse parts from your previous robot. And a lot of school right. teams are going to reuse the parts. So I can see us being in the middle and they're going to have to draw the line. Are we going to make a new game or are we going to just modify mm -hmm. Skystone? Um, the thing with Infinite Recharge, or I guess the replay of Infinite Recharge, is first still hasn't announced like what the changes are going to be, right? So we don't exactly know like if teams will even be able to reuse their robots. Because the thing is like, uh, like if there's a significant change to like the main game element with, um, with the balls, then you know team a lot of teams will have to redesign their shooters completely, which I think would still have like which still would cost like a ton of money for them. I just want to inter interject real quick. So there was a clarification on point 16 of the announcement that does say that you can continue to work with your robots and you'll be able to use either your robot or components of your robot. So I mean, you are, you are right about in regards to like, you might mm -hmm. have to completely rebuild certain things, but first FRC teams will be able to use at least some part of their robot uh, for 2021. Right. Yeah. I, in FTC, I, there are no rules about using previous robots in your current robot. Uh, like there are in FRC because there is the entire lunchtime, um, while FTC is a more open schedule. Um, so that doesn't pertain to us as much, but I think it's something definitely to consider because I know a lot of teams would benefit from being able to build off of the robot that they had this year. And even like in FRC, there's, there's a lot of small changes to the game that don't have much to do with the overall systems, but could change the way that you optimize them. Um, like one of the things that they could do is remove the possession limit so that robots that were built like last year would, or I guess this year would still be able to play the game perfectly well, but then you could still optimize for more. Um, Maybe yeah, change, changing could, autonomous could do that. I mean, too. they could totally do mm -hmm. something like that, make it a two possession limit or a three possession limit for FTC and it would completely mm -hmm. change how the game is played. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, my main issue with it being replayed is just the top teams have basically already beaten the game. Um, like, if you look at Blue Free and Data Force, they both have six right. tonados and can stack like 12 high. 12, 13, um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know what Data Force's max limit is, but Gluten Freeze has a mechanical limit of 12. But really, I think that just makes it um, a lot easier. For, they just have more time to just optimize and get better, but they're already. Mm -hmm. Uh, almost as good as they can be um because once you get uh once you start stacking past 12 or 13 you can't stack single you have to stack double and that just means you have to get a lot more stones which it, i just feel like it, the game's kind of already been played to its fullest potential uh at least yeah. by some teams it hasn't I... been reached by everybody because it got canceled but Right. I think, uh, like, what I was looking forward personally to most at Worlds was the change in driving style. And I know, like, we've talked about it before, but, like, relative recovery, the driving style just completely changed at Houston Worlds when uh, 7161 Hydra, Viperbots Hydra, showed, like, how they were going from the far crypto box and interrupting, uh, you know, their opposing alliance. And, like, if something like that were to happen at Houston or Detroit this year, like, that would completely change the game. But, like, I, other than that, I think I completely agree with you, Andrew, in the sense that, like, like, this game has pretty much been played to the full potential by a couple teams. Um, yeah. Right. So, and if we were to play it again, then we would just see a ton of clones of the gluten free or data forces robot. Uh, and mm -hmm. we wouldn't, or recharge green, we wouldn't really see anything innovative or anything new um, out of teams. It would just be more of the same. In my opinion, that's, that's already a problem as is and this would just like make it a lot worse this video is brought to you in part by ptc look during this time it's important to look for challenges to keep your skills up and to help your team in fun development the robots to the rescue challenge can help you accomplish both by designing a robot that solves a real world problem with a chance to win a share of over seven thousand dollars for your team 
Click the link in the description to get started at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.